What's up guys, it's Casey from Freefall Data Systems and I'm here to give you guys a tour of the FDS Altis app for our peripheral vision altimeter color Alti. I'm going to be using the iOS version in this video, but there's also an Android version with all the same functionality. Both apps are free and can be found on Google Play or the App Store. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and switch Bluetooth on on your color Alti. Remember to switch it off when you're done with all this and then you're going to be required to read through the terms of service and agree to them to use the altimeter. You might also be required to give uh, the app permission to access your photos or location because you can save uh, graphs of your jumps basically to your device if you want to. So once you select color Alta, you're going to see a menu that you don't have access to until you press connect. So go ahead and press connect and you should see your color Alta listed there with its serial number. It might also be listed as Freefall Data Systems Alti. So go ahead and click on that. This part takes a little bit longer on Android devices. Okay, so if you go to Color Alti Info, you're going to get uh, info like the number of jumps on the unit, um, your number of jumps, and then freefall time, data manufacturer, hardware version, software version, serial number, and you can check the battery there as well. Let's go back, look at last jump profile. Um, you can see this unit doesn't have any jumps on it, but basically um, here you can find your, your freefall time for your last jump, your canopy time, your average freefall vertical speed, top vertical speed that was recorded, and your average canopy speed as well. Uh, but what's kind of cool is below that you have an altitude time graph that you can look at. There's a data point every two seconds in these graphs. This one shows your altitude and feet over time. You can change the appearance of the graph and you can save it to share with your friends as well. And then there's a vertical speed time graph that shows your uh, vertical descent speed in miles per hour over time, also with a data point every two seconds there. Okay, let's take a look at Color Alti settings. And basically here, you can see that you can also adjust um, the brightness of the LED itself and its saturation. I would generally keep these all the way up and that's the default. Below that, you can see you can make it flash at the lowest free fault alert, which is also a default setting. Um, and then it doesn't flash at the lowest canopy alert for default, but you can make it do that if you wanted. Um, below that, your landing zone offset. If you're landing below your takeoff altitude, let's say I'm landing 350 feet below my takeoff altitude, then use a negative number. And then it'll confirm that what you've done. Um, and if, of course, if you're landing above your takeoff altitude, use a positive number. You can see that the altimeter can be used in swoop or wingsuit mode. What swoop mode is going to do is basically turn off all freefall alerts below 1500 feet and it's going to raise the threshold of what's considered freefall uh, from 80 miles per hour to 100 miles per hour. In wingsuit mode, uh, it's basically going to raise the or lower the threshold of what's considered uh, freefall from 80 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour. You can actually combine these both and basically that would turn off all your alerts below 1500 feet and uh, lower the threshold to 40 miles per hour. Speed tracker, which we'll talk about in a second, can be turned on and off here. Set your next jump number here and then you can also set your total freefall time, total canopy time, and you can reset the altimeter to defaults here as well. Okay, let's look at the freefall alerts. So the default is uh, the basically color alt can be used in two different types of modes. There's a continuous mode and there's a discrete mode. And I'll show you what the difference is. Basically in this continuous mode, which is the default, between 13,000 and 6,000 feet, you're going to see a slow transition through the colors of the rainbow um, like this. So you go out 13, it's like that. You're falling, falling, falling. You'll be falling really fast in this case, but just so you get the point. That's a continuous alert. See how it continuously blends. And then it might flash at the bottom there. It can all, the, the color algae can also be used in a discrete mode where you turn that off. This is a little bit more like an audible altimeter works. Um, you can see we have one set at 18,000 feet up there. That means if 
I go anywhere below 18,000 feet, I'm going to see that purple color you can see here. And you can change the colors here, by the way. You could make it more pinkish if you wanted. Um, so what these discrete alerts mean, basically, instead of gradually blending like that, it's just going to shift in color like this, according to colors of your choosing, as you pass through these altitudes. And you can actually set up to eight of those discrete freefall alerts as well. Canopy is very similar, but the default for this is actually discrete mode. You can see we got one set at 5,000 feet. So let's say I pull at four. I'm going to be hearing, or I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to be seeing free fall alerts until 4,000 feet. Uh, we're actually a little bit below that. And then once I'm open, uh, I'm basically going to see a green light like such. Once I hit 1,000 feet, it's going to turn yellow, 600, orange and 300 is going to be red. And you can, of course, set all these colors as you want. Or you could use it in continuous mode and have it blend from colors of your choosing, let's say from green to red, from 1,000 to 300 feet. Speed Tracker. Speed Tracker can also be used in either continuous or discrete mode, and the, and the default's uh, continuous, so that um, at 100 miles per hour it's going to be bluish, and if you're really cooking at 180, it's going to be red. So it also basically blends through the colors of the rainbow according to your speed. Or you can use it in discrete mode, and then you're basically just like Sono Alti going to have um, several different 12 different settings to choose from actually. There's a low speed setting, for example. And then you can actually set um, the colors that you want to indicate the speeds uh, that you want to indicate. And the last thing I wanted to look at is the ascent alerts. Um, and the free fall alerts and canopy alerts, if you're using discrete alerts, need to be set from highest to lowest, by the way. These do not. Um, you can set up to eight ascent alerts and basically it's gonna be a flashing light. I'd recommend using at least one of these so that you know the unit's working. Um, the default is one, and that'll be flashing actually, one alert at a thousand feet. And like I said before, make sure if you're going to turn these on to flip that switch. And you can set as many of them as you want. All right. That's going to do it for this intro to the FDS Alties app for Color Alti. For more information or purchase a Color Alti for yourself, visit freefalldatasystems.com.